In the metal squadron, taking a look at the May Copper Futures contract, which experienced a midday pullback. Copper was up 1.73% on the highs today. That's four spot 1955 was that May high, but then pulled back turning the metal negative versus yesterday's settlement down 0.7 on the lows, 0.7 or 7 tenths of 1%, four spot 0950. But on the close today, ended up down about a quarter of 1%. So not a terribly negative day. On the week, copper still closed positive by about 2.5%, maybe a little bit less than that, heading toward the top of the channel that it's been in since the end of January. Now, part of the pressure that we saw midday on the copper futures contract was put on by the U.S. on a geopolitical stamp from a geopolitical standpoint. The U.S. is putting pressure on its allies at the IMF meetings going on to push back against China. Increased China between the West and China is causing some market participants to doubt the Chinese government's 5% GDP target. Now, whether they will actually put economic pressure on China or not, it's all just words at this point. It's all just geopolitical talking points. We don't know, but it was a decent reason for people to take profits in copper on a very strong week. Also, dollar strength that we got today could be temporary, but it is a headwind to industrial metals. The dollar was stronger today against all majors, up over 1% against the Aussie dollar, 0.9% against the yen, two thirds of a percent against the sterling, uh, half a percent against the Swiss and the euro, and two tenths of a percent against the Canadian dollar. So. Overall, the dollar strength, while it was only today, on the week it was still negative, it was a little bit of sort of a push for that midday pullback that we saw on copper.